Um, I'm actually very grateful that I knew somebody who served in my mission before I went to my mission um, because she gave me tips before I left. And I took them seriously, and I'm very grateful that I did. <laughs> Probably the biggest tip that I have for the Quito mission, be it Quito South or Quito North, like regardless, um, I would say get a very good umbrella and bring it like from here. Um, they have umbrellas down there, but you'll probably go through many if you buy them down there. Um, all my companions who bought their umbrellas in Ecuador, probably, I mean, even within a two transfer time together, I had at least two companions that had to buy two or three umbrellas during that time. Um, in Quito itself, um, it rains almost like clockwork. You can almost guarantee either rain or hail um, every afternoon. Um, I learned that from my very first day in the mission when we got there. It was about two o'clock and thunderstorm rolled through um, because you're at the top, you're up in the Andes Mountains. Um, and so I don't think there were very many days, at least in Quito, that I didn't see rain. Um, and so that would be my number one thing, would be to bring a very good umbrella. Um, and not a huge umbrella, just one of the small ones. Um, a good idea also, I didn't have very many and I wish I would have had more. Thankfully I had companions who had many, but cardigans are also really good. Um, cardigans are really, are really, really good because um, in Ecuador, at least I served in the mountains my whole time. And, um, on average during the day, it was probably in the sixties, upper fifties, sixties, lower seventies, um, year round. And that was during the day. And obviously you're out and you're out for the entire day. And so there were many times where I wouldn't actually have a, a coat or a jacket with me. Um, but I would just have... I actually learned it from my companions. I would just carry a small, a light cardigan with me um, and, a, and a scarf. Those were like my two, I guess my three essentials would be cardigan, scarves, and an umbrella. Um, those were the three things that I always had um, because there were many times where all I needed to do in the evening once it started getting cold, I'd throw on my cardigan, I'd throw on my scarf, and I would be fine. I wouldn't need anything more than that. Um, sometimes during the actual winter time, I might have a pair of gloves in my backpack, um, just to keep my hands warm. Um, but overall, those were like my three go-to things outside of obviously carrying my scriptures, um, and copies of the Book of Mormon with me to give to people. Um, backpacks are always really good. Um, sunblock, lots of sunblock. Um, I wasn't very good at wearing sunblock <laughs> and I paid for it. Um, I was almost always burnt, um, especially on my scalp. Um, the, you don't think about it a lot because it's not overly warm, um, at least not in the mountains. I know out in the Amazon it gets warm and out on the coast it uh, gets very warm and humid in both of those areas. Um, but because you're on the equator, you're so much closer to the sun. And so even though it's not necessarily hot outside, the sun is out and the sun is a lot stronger because you're closer to it. And um, I don't think there was a time I was not sunburned over the whole course of my 18 months. Um, and all my companions would always make a comment about the fact that I wasn't wearing sunscreen. So <laughs> take sunscreen, lots of sunscreen. Um, another one would be, and I know a lot of, I mean, a lot of foreign countries, this is just a good idea and tip. Um, I wouldn't worry so much about taking 18 months worth of shampoo and conditioner. However, if you are a contact wearing sister or missionary period, um, I would take 18 months worth of contact solution. I didn't have contacts on my mission, um, but I did have companions who did, and they all told me the same thing, um, to take lots of that. Um, and obviously 18 months of feminine hygiene products is a good idea too. Um, 
you can get them there, but they're a lot more expensive. So um, I would recommend not doing so. Um, I've heard good things about buying in bulk from Costco, so there's an option for you. Um, also, makeup, um, take 18 months worth of makeup. Um, just a tube of mascara in Ecuador is about $18. Um, so that's just to give you an idea. Um, so I would take a whole mission's worth of that. Safety tips. Um, first and foremost, follow the guidelines in the missionary handbook. Um, honestly, if you're obedient and you follow those, you're going to be protected because you're being obedient. Um, but also, I mean, be, be aware, be aware of your surroundings, most definitely. Um, not only that, don't ignore any feeling that you might have from the spirit. Um, I actually have an example of this when my very first area, we had met up with a family, um, and it was at this time I was only with my trainer. So there was just the two of us and we met up with a family we'd given them a lesson and we were leaving and we were going to go one direction um because it was shorter to get back um rather than going the other direction which would have added a good 10 15 minutes onto our travel time and so we left in all purpose intention to go this direction and as we came around the corner i kind of had this feeling but apparently she had the exact same feeling um because both of us come kind of at the exact same time, we kind of glanced at each other and it was a, at, we shouldn't go this direction. Um, and we, and instead of ignoring that, we listened to that and we just turned around and we walked the other way. So even though it added 20 minutes to our time, um, we, we knew that we, we, it was better to take a longer route than to take a risky route. Um, and so I think, those would be my biggest safety tips. Um, if you're on the bus or the metro, um, never put your backpacks on the ground or up above, like in the loft or in the bag holding area. Um, if you're sitting, have it on your lap and have your arms around it. Um, and if you are not, not able to sit, which is a very common thing, usually you have to stand, stand um, still pull it in front of you and have it in front of you and have your arm around it, um, especially where the zippers are and where they connect, like where they open. Um, because if your hand's there, then it's less likely. There's a lot of pit, po pit pick pocketing um, that happens on the trains and on the buses. And so it's not a good feeling when that happens because I did have that happen to me. So that would be my biggest safety tips.